Hey, I'm RT and welcome back to RT's World. So today I have another casino tutorial video for you and this time it's all about the Spamino. That's how I call my new machine here, um, where the purpose is you want to make sure to press all those 12 buttons as fast as possible um, in a certain amount of time. And of course you can play it um, as indicated by these two signs here, uh, as to, with only one player or with two players. So for the one player version you either pick lift, the left or the right side and uh, just pr try to press all those 12 buttons in the uh, set amount of time. But if you want to play it uh, in the two player mode you can double your odds and therefore increase your chances dramatically by just playing it with your friend. And uh, you just pay one diamond to play it and then we have to press all those buttons very fast, like this. So, and then if we pressed it, yeah, we can uh, get our prices. And now we want a diamond, a gold ingot and of course the melon. And if you want to uh, outsmart the casino and try to really make sure you're re really fast and want to press both sides on your own, so without a player too, there's a way to do it, but you really, really have to be fast <laughs> by doing that. So uh, usually you're not you're not fast enough to press all those buttons by yourself, but if you manage to do so, you can also increase your chances. So um, we have here four prices. First one is the melon, the gold ingot, the second price, third price diamond, and the fourth price, uh, the most uh, <laughs> the most rare one, is the netherite block. And I only managed to get it like uh, four times or five times during testing. And I did a lot of testing with this casino so far, so pretty unlikely to hit this block, but uh, we will go to the chances uh, afterwards and to the calculation part of the odds. So um, this video will be structured into two parts, uh, where the first part is the explanatory part, I will explain everything to you, we are looking at all the circuits behind the casino, and in the second part I will give you a block by block tutorial where you just can pause at any moment and uh, make sure you make no mistakes during you build it in your single or multiplayer world too. Um, we have, of course, again, a very multiplayer and server-friendly casino here. It's rather small. Let's uh, try to compact it down as much as possible. We have no clocks, um, which are running continuously. And uh, now I will explain everything to you. So, if I drop in a diamond here and pay for the casino, we can see that if I press a button, this lamp will light or if I press the upper button this lamp will light and then just these observers will propagate the signal to this repeater. This repeater will um, pass the signal through this uh, wool or glass block to this uh, dropper and this dropper is where the magic happens, where the chances and the odds are calculated. We have a 1.5% total chance to win the main prize and each dropper has a 2 times 50% chance per button click. So if I click a button once, this dropper will fire twice. So it basically doubles your chances. And just a very short interruption here, if you want to decrease your chances, just throw in some more stackable items here. So I would recommend it for this casino with the, this prices to decrease your chances a little bit because um, uh, the, the chances of winning a diamond is a little bit too high. So maybe just yeah, throw in here some stackable items in some of those droppers that will decrease the chance uh, slightly and therefore increase your profits. But uh, again, back to the buttons. Uh, if I press those buttons, um, we'll just throw in another diamond. If I press those buttons during the casino is ac activated, you can uh, see perfectly that the signal will get uh, passed through this repeater here. If I just simulate the button press, yeah, it would be passed through uh, to this dropper here where the chances are calculated. But if the casino is turned off, you can basically update any of those uh, blocks here and therefore uh, they represent a button click and the signal won't pass because we have here glass blocks and they prevent us from playing the casino without paying for it. So if you want to just make sure, yeah, I want to try to win the prize and I don't want to throw in a diamond, uh, nothing works because uh, no signals are processed um, further than this row. So if we um, play the casino and this uh, bull block is moved downwards one block, we can just play it. Uh, we have here the, the odds that are calculated. If uh, we have the stone sword, which is our unstackable item, uh, that's the output for the winning of this dropper. And if we have the non -stack, uh, the stackable item, that's basically our losing item. And it's the 50-50% uh, chance for each item to get transferred into the hopper. 
and if it's transferred into the hopper the comparator will read either uh, three signal strength or one signal strength in case of the iron block and that's basically where our um, calculation part comes in that's the brain of the casino and then we just move on um, pass all the winning items here which are represented by the quartz block in this dropper row to the left and if we uh, made, made sure or if uh, we manage to get the stone sword into this item hopper here we have a signal strength of three this observer will detect uh, the state change of this lamp and if it does so we can see that the uh, item got moved to the left i will just move it back to the right again and it does so for all the items um, in the three rows here and after all those uh, items are moved to the right in this case um, it's detected by this row of uh, comparators and the signal is compared to the content of this hopper here and here are exactly 64 items and five items in the hopper in all of those hoppers and that's exactly a signal strength of four and per item we move to the right here so basically per stone sword that gets detected here in these hoppers we just subtract one signal strength of this uh, signal strength of four line of redstone here and if we subs manage to get one item here of out of the four we just subtract one um, signal strength therefore powering the light blue circuit and the light blue circuit wins us the gold ingot if we manage to do uh, two signal strength uh, re removal so basically two out of four hoppers for the first row uh, two out of four droppers for the first row we can activate the purple circuit and it wins us the diamond and if we manage to get all just stone swords in all of the cases we can uh, win the main prize which is the dark gray line of wool but this is rather unlikely of course it's one percent uh, it happens 1.5 percent of the time you play and basically what these circuits also do is they do not, do not only compare the outputs of the first row here it's also the middle and the uh, downward row here so we have all three rows where we have to fulfill those parameters to really win the prizes so it's rather hard because if you want to win just the first prize you have to uh, manage to get one item per row into the right row of droppers if you want to get the diamond you have to do it twice for each of those rows so six items in total and if you want to win the main prize you have to do it for all of the 12 droppers uh, at the same time to move the item to the right and uh, then it's just mirrored it's just mirrored to the right here for the second player therefore you can increase your odds by the factor of two of course so if you're playing it in a two-player mode you have not 1.5 percent total chance you have around three percent to win it and yeah so you can increase your odds yeah and then we only have uh, one thing left which is after we pressed um, the button here we uh, after we just uh, threw the diamond in here we have here the basic item filter if we move an item in here it gets transferred to our profit chest where we can remove the profit profits afterwards and during we play uh, we have just this simple hopper clock running here which plays a little bit of music all the time here is the up and downwards moving part with the glass and with the alternating glass and wool blocks here are just some pulse extenders and here we have the reset circuit in red where as the casino time ends we just move all the items that got moved from the left to the right we just move them back to the left so it resets it and we can play it again yeah that's basically everything explained um, for the technical part so welcome to the second part of this video the building part and i just chose to go for this uh, blue theme because i liked it and uh, i like the colors so you can of course choose another design here but in my case i will just uh, go with the blue again so to start we need a 19 by 11 block platform 19 in the this direction and 11 in the direction in front of me and that's where all the visible visible stuff is happening um, of the casino so first of all you want to make sure to leave these uh, three blocks here um, don't uh, cover them so here we start with this quartz blocks just go two blocks inwards then we want to make sure to get our decorative block and here another decorative block then a quartz stair then four space quartz stair space quartz stair another four block space another quartz stair and then just mirror it like that and if you manage to do it we can simply just uh yeah build those walls four blocks for example 
and here also we want to make sure to get four high pillars of those stairs and then we just need some uh, lapis lazuli blocks in my case where we just place in 12 blocks here so it's uh, four by three square and that's where all the buttons the buttons go afterwards here just cover them with stairs cover them with stairs here and here we just have our ice surrounding everything so it looks nice And for these pillars here, just do it like that. Just decorate them. You can of course use use uh, any blocks you like. And here we just, yeah, building a few walls. Like that. And then we could also build a ceiling, but I will just uh, do it like this. So course you can do it, uh, can do it further you can also put some lamps into the ceiling like I did it here in this uh, showcase version of this uh, casino but of course you don't have to do it and it's completely up to you so then we will need some droppers and we just want to make sure that we place them here where we have this three block gap in the middle and then just the hop out the droppers like this redstone lamps to indicate if they got fired or if they if they fire like this and here will be our input with the items so just make sure to grab a hopper uh, they should face all into the right uh, block so don't face them downwards just face them into the right block and then we just grab us a trapdoor to make everything look fancy and then we just need some item frames where we just uh, showcase all of our prizes we can win. Yeah, here we can just uh, put some signs where you say, yeah, player one side, player two side, and so on. I'll describe the casino a little bit more. And to the prizes, uh, I just chose to do melon, this one, this one, and some netherite. Melon, gold, diamond, netherite. So we can simply put in the prizes in those droppers like this so just remove everything again which we don't need and just to represent um, the currency in diamonds we just put in a diamond here so that's the design you should end up now up to this point and then we need some buttons I just chose to go with the polished blackstone buttons it doesn't matter which one you take just make sure it's a button and cover all those lapis lazuli blocks with buttons so now move just to the back side of the casino and we want to make sure to get our item filtering system in place. Just place two blocks of wool and read the output of the upper dropper, a hopper, and then just place two blocks like this, uh, pieces of redstone, a repeater down there, another block, remove this block and uh, place in a redstone torch. And then we want to grab a chest and here are, we'll be uh, our profits afterwards so if we place in here some diamonds in the first row and in the first slot we want to make sure that there's 18 and if we place in the 19th one it will be transferred to the lower dropper and nothing will be in the chest and if we put in another one it should end up in this uh, profit chest here and then we want to make sure to get all those outputs of those buttons so cover the backside with the redstone lamps like this and then just place observers facing into those lamps like that and then just place observers here like this um, then I should go down a little bit like that just face them uh, downwards and upwards for the lower part and you should end up with a pattern that looks like this and then just uh, place alternating row of observers space row of observers space and do it for the right side as well like this and then uh, we just grab ourselves some green or some lime green wool and just place it in here row of repeaters all set to four ticks 
another row of wool, again some repeaters, all set to 4 ticks. Another <laughs> line of wool and again some repeaters, all set to 4 ticks. And we're gonna mirror this uh, pattern to the right here. Repeaters, blocks, repeaters, blocks and some more repeaters. So if you finished setting all those repeaters to 4 ticks, we want to make sure to uh, put this dark green circuitry in. So we start by just placing some glass blocks uh, where the repeaters are and alternate them just with uh, green wool. So again glass blocks, repeating facing into those glass blocks, then green wool, another row of glass blocks and uh, just on the bottom we want to make sure to place in another row of glass and here just a row of pistons down there. Actually it has to be one block further down and on top we want to place the pistons like this, just facing it directly into those uh, green wool blocks. And we're gonna um, do the same part for this side. Again, just uh, mirroring everything. That's the very nice part about this casino. You can just, uh, if you build one side, you automatically can build the second side or the, the other side too, because it's completely the same on both sides. Like this, another row of pistons here. And now we want to remove some blocks here to get some space for those pistons. Like that. And after we clear those space, we just remove one row here to further uh, get more space here. And now I just, uh, yeah, yeah, make sure to replace this repeater again. And then we grab some orange wool and we grab our output here for the casino and then just uh, yeah, build those uh, orange wool blocks like this. And we want to make sure to get here some redstone, um, compared to facing in this direction, compared to facing in the other direction, replace this redstone dust with the block. Two pieces of redstone, one repeater set to, not to one tick, one repeater set to four ticks. Another two pieces of redstone, um, two converters facing in this direction, two converters facing in the other direction, and then a redstone lamp here and a redstone dust there. So that's basically our first part. Then we want to make sure to clear the space here as well and remove this line of blocks down there. And then we want to continue on with some sticky pistons. And observers. Um, the observer should read the output of this lamp and here also two observers are reading the output of this lamp. And then we just grab a block, in this case it was a dark green one because now we're in the dark green circuit again. Just place in here the block and placing a sticky piston here and then we want to grab a block of redstone and just place it uh, one block to the left so there's one space in between. Now we place in just some redstone dust like this and a dark green wool block like that and a redstone torch here. Just some redstone dust there. Some redstone dust on this side, uh, some green wool blocks here. Repeaters all set to one tick. Uh, blocks and here again some repeaters set to one tick. And here we can also place a repeater going into a yellow circuit, but we need this uh, circuit later. So just make sure to have it like this so we can remember it afterwards a little bit more easy. And then we want to make sure to place in here another repeater um, set to two ticks like that. And if we want to uh, place this redstone block now to the right, we can see that these pistons should now extend and that's the state where we want them in. So everything should be powered like that. And now we want to do the, upper, the other part for the upper pistons. And we start for the upper part with a piece of redstone on this observer. And the block, um, repeater set to two ticks, a sticky piston. Another block, again, repeater set to two ticks, block on top. 
and then just block upwards like this and then just make sure that we can cover all those pistons here with some oh with some redstone like that and some repeaters set to four ticks uh, running into those lines and then just connect everything up remove the supporting blocks if you like and that's our upper part done and if i grab myself a button and just power the contraption you can see that we have now uh, the mode where we just power each block and if this redstone uh, pass extender starts to decay we end up with the glass again so basically that's our mode where the button signals won't be recognized as inputs and that's the mode where if the where the casino is on where all our signals get transferred to the uh, droppers afterwards and after a certain amount of time yeah you can so, so uh, you saw it it uh, will be moved upwards and there's again some glass next we want to place in some droppers and place them against this glass blocks here like that and I pre-filled all those droppers with one stone sword and one uh, stackable item. So just make sure every one of those droppers looks like this. And just place them where the glass is, like that. <clears throat> so then, just place some hoppers facing into them, some composters on top to reduce the server lag. And do it like that. Same for the other side. like this and then we want to grab some outputs of those droppers and we want to do it by using comparators and three pieces of redstone uh, in front of every comparator and yeah just repeat this pattern for all the hoppers read the output three blocks and just fill everything in Like this. So then we want to place some redstone lamps here, like that. And we should end up with uh, where the same row where this redstone lamp is. And just repeat it for the other side too. Like this. Redstone everything. Comparators, redstone again. Yeah, I know that's the kind of the boring part, but uh, at least it's very uh, repeatable and the pattern is clear. Just do it for every slot the same way, <clears throat> then you won't have any problems. Again, some redstone lumps, and that's basically the yellow, uh, the, the lime circuit done. Now I want to grab ourselves some observers, uh, some blue wool, and some new droppers. So just face observers into all of those uh, redstone lamps, then some blue blocks, or some blue wool in this case, and some pre-filled droppers where just one item, it doesn't matter which item it is, but it has to be uh, a stackable item, so not, not a stone sword, it's just a block. <clears throat> Same for the other side. Again some blue wool, and the, pr the pre-filled droppers with one item inside and then we grab ourselves some red wool and some empty droppers and just make sure there's one space in between of them then place in these three lines uh, you can cover them all with redstone and just make sure to place the empty droppers so now we have the filled droppers on the left the empty droppers on the right for all of those rows like this it's a little bit tricky to place them, but uh, you should be able to do it from this angle. <clears throat> and then another red blocks like this, red wool, redstone, red wool, redstone. And other droppers here and here. Same for the other side, like this. So, and then we just connect up those uh, red wool lines and make sure that they're done like this and now i want to place in the, re the reset circuit where we just uh, grab an output 
of uh, with an repeater like this. I just uh, misplaced this one here. We want to make sure here's a redstone torch attached to this lamp that should power that. And then we're gonna use a sticky piston. with a red block on top and both repeaters set to four ticks and then we just grab ourselves some red glass and just place it here replace this block place redstone on top here replace this block redstone on top so here we have uh, our leather our redstone leather basically where the redstone can travel upwards and if we power this torch all of those uh, right droppers should fire so next we want to make sure to read the outputs and I will grab some blue wool. We want to read now the outputs of those droppers. So just for comparators here. Then another row of uh, blue wool comparators again. Another row of blue wool comparators again. And we want to make sure to place in comparators like this too like this and like this and set them all to subtraction mode uh, the comparators in row and then we grab ourselves a pre-filled hopper I will just show you how many items are in there so the pre-filled dropper should be here and there should be exactly 64 items and 5 items in then uh, composter hopper composter hopper composter and all of those uh, hoppers are filled the same way then one space, we just mirror everything like this. Uh, another row of comparators, here row of comparators and set them to subtraction mode. Same for the next level like this. And then this row of comparators all set to subtraction mode. Again, comparators, line of comparators and all of them set to subtraction mode. Uh, like we have it here in the case of this uh, pre-show casino. Then we just uh, place in a pattern that looks like this. So grab ourselves some redstone dust. And if we place a fifth redstone here, it shouldn't be powered at all. So only four pieces of redstone should be powered at this point. And just repeat it for each row and then for the other side too. Nice, so now everything is done and now we want to just grab some outputs. So for the outputs I've just prepared those two holes which are 2x2x2 two by two by two blocks and we just fill them with some light blue wool and just extend them one block further. Then we want to make a redstone, uh, we grab an output for this block here, just two uh, lines of redstone, another line and one up block, up, up, <laughs> one block up. Then another repeater here and another repeater on top so we grab just the output of those three dark wool blocks and now we simply connect everything up like this so all those redstone dust should be connected and we create here an end gate and we create the same uh, gate on the other side like this just make sure to grab all those outputs with the repeaters and make sure to not interfere some signals or cut them off at any point. And that's basically our first output. There we can grab our target block. That's um, the end gate. So if this torch gets lit, we should uh, win a prize. So now we do the same with the magenta circuit. So again, just grab an output here, remove uh, those four blocks, two pieces of redstone, another piece here, Here's some redstone, another repeater there, another repeater on top. And then just connect the whole circuit like this. And just repeat the same process for the other side. Some repeaters. Redstone dust, 
yeah, it's basically just very repetitive, but of uh, at least it's very easy to follow the pattern. So the last output we want to grab is the dark gray one. So just placing an output here directly next to this uh, piece of redstone. And make sure to put this um, <clears throat> connection up again, like that. A repeater, block of wool, repeater. Some more redstone dust and connect everything up. And repeat the process on the other side. like this so and just connect everything up nice so then we grab our output here with the target block uh, redstone torch on top same for this side and redstone torch on top and the, the output of the magenta circuits are also not missing and we just place them here and some redstone torches on top so Next, we want to make sure that our uh, most unlikely uh, circuit, the netherite block, is the dark gray one. Then our uh, magenta one is this diamond. And our light blue one is the most likely one, which is this one. So just uh, make sure to connect now everything up. And we're going to start with the light blue one. Just grab some more light blue wool blocks, some redstone torches, some more blocks and... <clears throat> some redstone like that just make sure to that they connect here so if we win and this redstone torch uh, gets or this redstone torch gets powered basically we should get an output here and then just run this line all the way like this and we should end up here at this point. Then we want to grab some redstone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, just place in here a repeater so we do it for every line the same way. Another repeater there. And some more redstone dust. For the magenta circuit, we want to just repeat this process. Redstone torch, redstone torch, magenta wool on top, and some redstone torches on top. And now we simply connect them. Make sure that they don't interfere here. And just run this um, line. Oh, should be the other side, sorry. Like this. And just connect everything up like this. So make sure to place the repeater directly above these pistons, otherwise they will be butt powered and that would mess up your uh, technique. And then just place in here some redstone dust, repeater, and again some redstone dust, that should be sufficient. So, and last but not least, the dark gray line. Again, make sure the repeater is directly above those pistons. And just continue on. And now connecting the outputs to this line. And don't forget the other output. like this. So it's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, so it should be nice. And then we want to grab some sticky pistons. And we just place them here in front of those repeaters. And just place in some, um, yeah, the corresponding color of course. And then some repeater set to four ticks 
on the other side that's just our lamp will be lit up a little bit longer um, that we can see the price better so and the last thing we want to do is add in our yellow circuit we just uh, prepared it first so uh, sticky piston facing to the direction of the casino above this rest zone then we just grab quartz block is there some quartz blocks here yeah place them here and then we just uh, torch ourselves up like that and a very uh, important thing I noticed is uh, here this redstone line should be prevented from connecting by just a block and yeah just torch up our way like that So we want our casino to spit out a melon each time we play and we're gonna achieve it by simply connecting up those lines like that. So if we play we just get a melon dispensed every time so we have enough to eat. And here this output is just for the redstone uh, for, the, for the hopper clock where our sound will be generated if we play. Oh yeah of course I just... oh no yeah. Um, of course just use some empty hoppers like that and place in one single item cover them with composters and grab yourself some outputs with comparators some blocks and some node blocks and also some emerald blocks here Notebox on top, one set to a very high tone, and then we basically end up with this. Yeah, I kind of like, like this music if we play, and it also indicates how long we're able to play. So now we can just play the casino with that everything done in the back. So first we get the melon, and then we just have to be very fast um, clicking all those buttons. Okay, now we want a gold ingot. And we can play it again. And now I want to try to be really fast, like this. Can we also play the second side? Is there a way to do it? Of course not. Um, yeah, now we want a diamond and a gold ingot. So, and uh, if the odds are too high in your case for your prices, so if you want win too often a diamond, for example, you can simply uh, decrease the odds by just throwing in into those droppers some uh, stackable items. Doesn't matter which items they are, but uh, if you do so, you decrease the chance of winning uh, dramatically. And I would also suggest, suggest it to you if you want to do it with those prices here. Otherwise the chances will be a little bit too good, I think, and uh, you won't turn a profit on this casino. So really make sure to put in some more items here, some uh, in some of those droppers and then you basically can decrease the overall chance of winning and therefore make a little bit more profit out of this casino. So with that said, um, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video today and make sure to build this casino in your single player or multiplayer world to make those uh, sweet, sweet diamonds. And as always, there's a world download link in the video description. And if you want a casino, which I haven't built on the channel to build, uh, just write in the comments. I will try my best to do it. And with that said, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye bye.